A little more on the uh, avocado bottle. That's fun to say. Can I do a little bit on the, uh, the main part of the avocado? I have my value sketch. So I know basically what I want to happen with this shape value-wise, which is the more important thing than color per se. That's a longer discussion. But anyways, value is very important. So there's a couple important things going on as far as the change in values and, and the avocado. And that, that's aside from the shadow. I'm going to address that later. Um, we'll see, you see that sort of around the edge is here. It gets progressively darker as you get towards the, towards the outside skin. Um, as well as, as it shifts from here to just in this direction, I have it going a little bit lighter to darker, lighter in general to a little bit darker down here. So let's see what we can do. Let's, um, I, I'm keeping both of those things in mind. Um, I should probably I, um, isolate and, and focus on only one of them if, if I want to uh, keep things simple. Um, so let me do that. I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna mix up, if you remember that first, one of the first little projects, swatches we did when we were playing with graded washes with two colors was what I was calling grading from uh, clear paint to, uh, or white paint because the paper was still white to uh, yellow. And uh, let's see, just trying to get some a clean space there. So I'm going to kind of think about that still, where I'm going to go from a light. I'm just going to kind of start strengthening things up a little bit to make it just more clear that this is, in general, getting a little bit darker and a little bit greener as we sort of come around this this part of the avocado but I don't want to get this part too dark up here as well so I am going to start with um, by making a couple of mixes of the colors I know I'm going to go to I'm going to go to a little bit of green which is my peacock blue and a little bit of the azo yellow. Get a little bit of water out of that brush. I'm rinsing that. Really hope that's in um, frame. I'm gonna bring it over here a little bit just in case. So now I am gonna um, just keep going with the uh, the idea of going from clear water to a little bit darker yellow, a little bit stronger yellow, and then adding mixing in a little bit more green. So there's a couple ways I can do that. What I I'm gonna just sort of define this shape once again with clear water. I'm gonna use a real light touch. I have a nice soft brush. That's pretty defined. I usually um, I, ha I, I keep thinking about where the water is going. I'm going to bring in a little bit of yellow here. And then start mixing in a little bit of that green. And then 
and start mixing in a little bit more of that green. I, I am a, a firm believer in not in, in taking control of how the paper is tilted. I know that that shadow is going to get really green. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of a maybe cheating, not really cheating, but um, eventually I'll be um, wanting to darken the edges as well to have them go to pretty really dark green. That's kind of a fun effect. But this first pass, um, well, this. This pass, and I know there's been several already. Um, I'm just thinking about the yellow to green. Once you start getting more comfortable and knowing what you can, how much you can add, then you'll start sort of getting more efficient within any one of these given layers. Um, I could probably come in up here and start dropping a little bit of darker color, but. Um, this is this is seeming good to me. Oh heck. <laughs> I'm gonna start I'm going against what I said I was gonna do. I know it, the reason I'm doing this is because I know everything is still pretty wet and I'm being pretty careful about just how much color I'm gonna drop in. I'm gonna drop in just a little bit of darker green and, and you want to be able to, to control how much how far this how dark it gets and how far that green goes so if you're already tr thinking about you know one significant value change then it's it's tricky to do that and still keep everything keep your brain from exploding or just keeping everything straight But as long as um, it's slightly wet, and as long as I don't bring in too, too much watery color and introduce a whole different amount of color to, to the shape, and a whole different amount of, of moisture to the shape, I want to try to, to basically match the, the moisture in my brush with the moisture of the paper and you'll get better and better at that. I'm just gonna, you can tip it to the side to, to see. But especially with that sort of outline um, effect It can be a little trickier, so I'm I'm pr proposing to sneak up on it, shift things around, move things around, practice on practice on this guy as well, and I am going to let that dry. <laughs> 